Welcome to our video review. Today, we will introduce the Second Brain Template, a solution that helps organize your tasks, ideas, and projects based on the Second Brain methodology. Let's take a look at how it works. On the index page, all key links are gathered, making it easy and quick to navigate to other pages of your Second Brain. All the links here are clickable, and with just one click, you can go directly to the section you need. The para group of pages is the foundation of the Second Brain methodology, which helps structure your information into key categories. The projects page is a space for managing short-term, goal-oriented tasks that have clear deadlines or results. Let's create a new item in the collection. There are two ways to do this, by clicking the plus new button on the right or pressing the plus button in the left toolbar. We add the title, priority, and notice the areas field. This is a relationship property that links the projects and areas collections. We'll also add a deadline and status. Let's open this relationship directly in the card to see how easy it is to navigate between related items. Next, let's go to the collection settings. Here, we have the group by option, which allows us to sort items by specific characteristics. For example, you can group tasks by priority, status, or not group them at all. Next, let's open another view, by status. It's the same information, but in a board layout. Here, all tasks are sorted by the status we previously specified in the card. The Areas page is your long-term assistant that helps keep all important aspects of life or work under control. Let's open one of the cards. Here, you can add images for visualization. Inside the card, you can also add text, tables, lists, images, and other blocks. If a relationship is no longer relevant, you can easily delete it. Adding a new card is also very simple. There are two ways to do it. By clicking the plus new button on the right or pressing the plus button in the left toolbar. The resources page helps organize your materials so they are always at hand for inspiration or use in future projects. Let's open one of the cards. To add a new resource, simply paste the link to it in the corresponding field. In the topic field, let's add a new category, such as lecture, and notice that you can enable or disable color coding. Going back to the list, you can right-click on any item, such as TED Talks, to see additional options. Here, you can change the card color or archive it. To view archived resources, go to Settings and activate the archive display. Let's create a new view, board by topic. In the settings, we will enable the display of properties for more details. Additionally, filtering allows you to quickly find the information you need. The weekly planner is a convenient tool for planning your week, allowing you to organize your tasks, events, and reminders. Let's check out this template. Notice the yellow banner at the bottom. It reminds you that if you edit this page, all new pages created through plus new will be based on the updated template. Also, the template in the group of pages is highlighted in blue in the banner. Let's create a new page by clicking plus new and rename it for convenience. Let's go to the Monday section, add a task name, specify the date and time, and set a reminder. All tasks automatically appear in the task panel as a list for easy viewing. You can also create a new task from scratch by clicking plus in the empty tile line. The monthly planner helps you see the big picture for the month ahead and keep your tasks under control. Let's add an entry to the checkbox to plan it. For example, if the time for completion is initially unknown, no problem. The to-do list can easily be converted into a full task that will be displayed in the task panel. Tasks can also be tracked in a calendar view. Another useful feature. You can connect Google Calendar to synchronize your tasks and events to always stay up to date with your plans. The page for tracking your health, where you can record important indicators, plan workouts, and monitor your well-being. A page for personal growth, where you can set goals for developing new skills, track progress, and plan your learning. A page for organizing your financial goals, where you can plan budgets, track spending and savings, and set goals for achieving financial stability. 
Home is the page for organizing everything related to your home. It allows you to create flexible and creative structures that meet your needs. Let's focus on the need to buy for home section. You can add all the necessary purchases for your home to make sure nothing is forgotten. Let's create a new item, home decor. Now click expand to note. By clicking open, you can add any blocks and links. This is very convenient for organizing purchases and household tasks, everything in one place. The page structure is completely flexible. You can add new tiles, change their size, style, color, and move them around to make the page more convenient and aesthetically pleasing. Remember, the block menu opens via the plus button or by using the slash command, which allows you to add the type of block you need. Let's create a new creative page. Click the plus button and create a new page. After that, you can rename it for convenience in working on the project. You can change the tab color. Next, we add tiles. If you want to use ready-made solutions, you can click the templates button to view the template gallery. In the gallery, you'll find various options that you can add to your page. Choose the template you want. Click Use this template, and it will instantly be added to your page. This saves time and makes your projects even more creative. This is how easily and conveniently you can use the Second Brain template to store your ideas. Thank you for watching. See you next time.